Today's video, we're going to be breaking down a full gameplay in how to put your roster in Draft Champions. Alright guys, I got my team drafted. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Peace. So, real quick guys, just want to tell you a little bit about myself. And uh, basically, my name is Cody, and our channel here, we're devoted to helping you get better at Madden 16. Right now, we're doing a series, and we're doing a couple of videos on Draft Champions, trying to kind of get you guys uh, ready for the Madden Challenge uh, that's coming up. And I uh, also want to do give you guys this. I don't know if this will come out before or after. I'm pretty sure it'll come out after the challenge is over, but I'm hoping this will get you guys interested in Draft Champions because this is where I see the tournament community kind of shifting toward. So I want to give you guys some strategies and things like that to how to do it. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at our lineup and adjusting it. Uh, I'm really excited to get into this because I want to talk a little bit about the importance of your lineup in Draft Champions. All right, so let's get into this. Last time we drafted our, our, our uh, team, you can check out that draft in the link below uh, in the description. But what I wanted to do is just kind of show you uh, some of the basic ways that you can set up your, set up your roster. So we didn't draft a running back, uh, and we didn't draft a lineman. Uh, we drafted a lot of skill players, we got some receivers, uh, Drew Brees, and then, you know, defensively, we got a pretty, we got a pretty decent little lineup here. So uh, here's how you want to do. You want to go through, you want to set up your lineup, you know, basically for your base package, whatever that may be. Uh, so you want to go through your lineup, kind of see who you want where, where they're going to go. Uh, you know, as you can see here, we got some guys on our on our bench, and that's why I'm going to get your lineup before just jumping into a game, because this way you can actually, uh, you can actually see your, uh, your lineup. All right, so the back of quarterback, uh, what we're going to look at here, probably going to go Brandon Whedon, honestly. Well, I don't know. You go back and forth. Max or Mark Sanchez is right. Schwab is pathetic. Um, and actually, he has the best accuracy stats with all of them. 88 short. Yeah, we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go Schaub, actually. I thought Schaub. Well, they're not great quarterbacks, but we have to go with one of them. So we're going to go Schaub, and then. The cool part about draft champions is you can always put extra players in. So you might as well at least put a roster at your disposal. You know, so if I, you know, for example, here, uh, you know, Sanchez, or excuse me, Whedon has 91 throw power, so at least have him in your lineup just in case things happen. Uh, next up is the running backs. We don't really have anything here, you know, but you understand we've got Bobby Rainey. Bobby Rainey's not too bad. He's got about 87 speed and agility. So he'll be okay, but we do have As Asiata. Is going to be that red zone type back for us. Uh, fullbacks, what I like to do is I like to put my tight ends in at fullback. So like Jordan Reed, uh, I like to put him in at fullback. Uh, I like to put him in at the number one fullback specifically. And then I like to put like Darius Green at number two. Uh, the reason is because of some packages and things like that. We're going to be able to get a wide receiver at tight end, which is kind of unique, I think. And uh, and we'll be able to use, utilize that. And then also James Hanna, because James Hanna has 90 speed. Uh, now from there, I come up to the to the uh, tight end section, and I put in, you know, kind of my fifth or fourth best receiver here. So, you know, for this specific lineup, we're going to be able to put, uh, you know, good one and more here. We're going to good one here, and what it's going to do is it's going to give you like a speed threat at that tight end position, and uh, hopefully it will be in some matchups and things like that. Nobody else really screams anything to me as far as this team goes. Uh, where they're going to be able to contribute. So we're just going to go stay tight ends outside of that. Uh, Campanano is actually a decent player because he has 81 catch, 81 catch in traffic. So you want to you want to kind of have him in your lineup. And then also, uh, as you can see here, Zach Miller. He's not on the roster yet. we got to have him on there. He's a staple, staple for the game. Uh, this guy more bows is pretty solid. So when you get to these receivers, as you can see, Wide receiver two, you know that that part doesn't really matter. Uh, I like to come into this wide receiver six zone, take Asiata out, get more players on the field. Uh, you you want to get as many players on your team as you possibly can. I think we actually have everybody except for Matt Slater and Denarius Moore, which both of those guys. Denarius Moore kind of matters because he has an 85 spectacular catch, so we'll throw him on that lineup. And then, but we want to make sure that Asiata is not on the field. We want to make sure that he's not a wide receiver sub because he'll come in at random points in the game. All right, so the defense, so this, this is where we really need to start work looking into it. So defensive tackle, this and this is where it was really important. So we got we drafted uh, Damon Harrison. Uh, as you can see, 92 strength, 97 tackle, 97 block shed. 
So now uh, this guy, Louis Nix III, is going to be the second string. As you can see, he's got pretty good stats, a mm -hmm. decent job. We need to go through and see if there's anybody else that can do anything. So Sylvester Williams, nothing really good. This guy, Arthur Jones, is actually a really, really good defensive kind of end or defensive tackle. You can throw him in your lineup. So we're going to actually put him above Sylvester Williams because Sylvester Williams, in my Pardon. opinion, is one of the worst silver players in the game. You want to take make sure that Jones is in there. Uh, so then as we're going through here, we get to this fourth slot. And this guy, Bequette. As you can see, Jake Bequette, nothing really good. So, we, you know, we want to kind of leave him out. Uh, what I recommend doing is removing – whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Is removing mm – -hmm. you know – whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Okay, so you can't remove them. That's interesting. All right, so then moving into the right end position, we have Tank Carradine here. Uh, and – We'll have to, you know, work with the lineup once we're in the game to kind of formation by formation once we get used to the playbook. But so uh, we've got Tank Carradine here. So what I want to do, though, is I want to have uh, Brandon Graham. I want him to be, I want him to be down here at this left end. So what I would do here is I would just, you know, move him there. So, you know, you just move some guys around. Obviously, it's good to go through. You see here, Victor Butler has 88 acceleration. Uh, you know, nothing else really special. Manny Lawson has 86 speed, 88 acceleration, and 82 finesse moves. So a really good pass rusher there. Uh, and then this guy, James Anderson, 87 acceleration, so pretty good. Uh, Palmer here, you can see 86 cell, nothing else special. And then Spencer Pacinger, nothing really special there. So it's good to at least know that. At least, you know, you know, because sometimes you'll get silver players who really actually have some special qualities. And so you'll definitely want to utilize them. So what we're going to do here, though, is we're going to put our guy. Uh, uh, Brandon Graham down here at the defensive end position. So we've got, uh, whoops, I think I have this backwards. I need to have them switched. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to freaking screw me. Screw me over. So let's do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Brandon Graham at the right end, and then we're going to put Tank Carradine at his uh, normal left end position. Now the backups are those guys that I was talking about a, a, a moment ago. We're going to back, them, back, back him up. up with guys like Manny Lawson, who has 86 speed, 88 acceleration, and all those power moves and finesse moves and things like that. And then we're also going to utilize, uh, we may use, let's see here, we got Victor Butler. Uh, we know we've got Arthur Jones already in the lineup. So really, the, yeah, the only guy we can go with is Victor Butler. So we'll put him in there. And we've got Jones right here. Okay, so we do that, and then uh, now we want to move back to the linebacker. The middle linebacker, that's going to be your player who's on the field pretty much every formation you go to, you have a middle linebacker. So that's where I like to put Bud Dupree because I'm going to be going to be user controlling Bud Dupree in this game. Uh, I really think he's built for user control, 91 speed, 93 excel, 92 hit power, and he's also 6'4". So we're going to put Bud Dupree here, and then we're going to, uh, you know, these other two linebacker spots, we're going to fill those voids. Uh, with two things. So the first one is the right outside linebacker spot. And, and that's where we're going to put our guy, uh, Manny Lawson, because your right outside linebacker is the linebacker that's often going to blitz. Manny Lawson is our best blitzer. Uh, and also Sam Acho for a moment here. Sam Acho or Acho or however you say his name. Not very good player, but he's a balanced one. He'll be a backup. And then uh, you can see that we don't really have access to anybody else. We have Kev, uh, or this guy, Kevell Connor. He has 82 speed, 88 excel, 85 tackle. And hit power, so he's actually a pretty solid backup, uh, and he'll back some guys up. But we're gonna start Manny Lawson with that 86 speed, 88 excel, and we're gonna put him at right outside linebacker. And then at left outside linebacker, we're gonna put Wesley Woodyard. Uh, left outside linebacker is the backer that normally goes into coverage. So we're gonna put him there. And then, you know, as we're going through this, uh, we're gonna use our backups. So the backups I'm gonna recommend to you. Uh, I'm gonna recommend the first backup to be Cavell Connor. And then the second backup could be Sam Acho or Acho. Those are, in my opinion, your best bets as backups. And, of course, you have that to your disposable chain, like, you know, for the purpose of the video. Like, these are the guys that you're going to want to use, so we're going to sub them in for you here. Okay, so moving to the corners. This is probably the most important portion of your lineup. And the corners... So we play, I think in draft champions, it's good to play man. I mean, you can play zone too, but I think it's really, really smart if you play a lot of man. So we've got uh, Rodson and Darby who are really good man corners, and then we got Jason Bure. So that's pretty standard lineup there. Now we want to look at these corners and see if we can find anybody else that can play. So as we're going through here, you see that Aaron Ross has 76 man, Kyle Wilson has 76 man, 
Uh, Nolan Carroll, 76 man. Owens has 77 man. No. Phillips, no, no man really. Black, nothing really special. He has 77 man. Johnson, 73 man. And Williams, nothing. Okay, so as you can see here, we don't really have any advantage. Now we want to look. Next thing is speed. So as you can see here, Kyle Wilson, 87 speed. He also has uh, 81 press coverage. So we're going to utilize him at that fourth corner slot. And then we're going to slide Aaron Ross down to the fifth slot because he's going to be that fifth guy. If we ever want to go to quarters, we can use uh, Aaron Ross. Or we could even use Nolan Carroll here, as you can see. Uh, he's got some decent stats. But, you know, I would recommend going with Aaron Ross. All right, so the next one comes to your safety. So this is really important, too. We want to have two guys that can cover... Uh, at least decently in zone. So we've got Oliver Clint on that side, so that's a that's kind of a standard. Um, so if they can't cover in zone, then you want to look for speed and hit power. So, like Sean Williams here. So Sean Williams has 80 speed, 85 hit power. He doesn't have any zone coverage, but he's one of the best <laughs> shapers in the silver uh, editions. And then we've got uh, Johnson here. We've got Kenny Phillips. Kenny Phillips actually has 75 zone coverage. Uh, and I think that's the best that we actually have. Uh, on the team, that is correct. That's an accurate statement. Yep, it is. So Kenny Phillips has the highest zone coverage, so you definitely at least understand that. So if you want to have zone on the field, make sure that Kenny Phillips is on there. And I'm talking about your still players right now. I'm not talking about your – obviously, you're going to start your positions. But Kenny Phillips has 85 speed, 92 acceleration, 81 hit power, 75 zone coverage. So you're going to want to start him there. Uh, now you want to move into your specialist section. Uh, so always look at your kicker just to kind of see like what kick power and stuff he has. As you can see, Blair Walsh has the best kick power, so he's who you're going to want there. Uh, these, this is all standard stuff. And then come to your kick returner side. So you want to just – I just like to look for my fastest guy. Uh, I don't want to do anything. So here we have Ron Woodson. He has 95 speed. That's why he's there. Uh, as you can see, his juke is 94. This good one card though, is actually something special. He's got 95 speed as well, so you might want to consider him. Uh, Matt Slater, I don't, I don't really know why he's even on here, but he is. Like, I don't even know why he's still in the NFL, to be quite honest. At least in Madden, anyway. I don't know. He's not like no value, but uh, I would put Goodwin here. And then punt returner, I would put Goodwin there as well. So we would, so it would go like this: Rod Woodson, Marquise Goodwin. So we got this kind of out of order. And then, you know, if you draft a running back or whatever, you obviously sub in. But that's what you're going to want to do. So that's our lineup, and uh, that's how we kind of structured it. Just wanted to kind of break that up very quickly. And uh, we'll get in the game tomorrow. So if you guys want to watch that full game head-to-head uh, -head and see how this haul comes together, be sure to come back. Be sure to come back by hitting that subscribe button below. And also let me know if you have any questions or suggestions about how you guys do your draft champions lineup in the comments. Thank you so much for taking a watch this video. And also, guys, I recommend checking out some of the ebooks and products in the description.